Hello Ubuntu fam! Today I am going to take you along for my twice monthly grocery haul at Aldi's. Aldi's is my favorite store to shop at. As a requirement for a home we buy in the future, there needs to be an Aldi's within a 10 minute drive. I love it that much. So today I went with my daughter and we truly were able to go out together and be back to the house within probably 35 minutes because of how Aldi is designed. Again, we do grocery shopping every two weeks, so twice a month for our family of three plus our other family in the home. We share some items. Today I am going to show you the items that we got. We went to Aldi's only. There are two other items that we need that all these did not have. They'll have to stop. One is chorizo, which we'll probably get at the Hispanic store down the street. And when we're there, it's okay. And when we're there, we'll probably be tempted and buy uh, fresh plantains. And then the other ingredient we need is rice noodles. So that will stop at a store for when it makes sense. So come along, let me show you what we got all these. Here we got one thing of yellow onions just to use in meals throughout the week. We got two things of black beans. I plan to put one in a quinoa salad. Two bags of red potatoes. We made smash red potatoes last weekend and they were delicious. I plan to make those again and then make a Hungarian sausage meal with those potatoes as well. We have some olive oil, dry wine, that's for real, milk, yogurt, which Beryl will use as a snack, four dozen eggs. I plan to make an egg casserole and we ran out of eggs last time. So I had to go back to the store and get two dozen more. So I just went ahead and bought quite a few. We needed some toothbrushes. We got some creamy organic peanut butter. We ran out of quart-sized bags. We've been enjoying eating popcorn or kettle corn. We don't go through it that quickly. This will probably last, oh gosh, probably a year. Um, but we like to make kettle corn or just regular popcorn on the stove top. We bought some mangoes. They look pretty green, so they might take some time before they are ready. Yes, what do you have to say, Vera? Yeah. Would you like to say something? Say hi. <laughs> All right, we bought some jasmine rice. We usually get this at Sam's Club, but we were out, and so I just picked up a thing there at Aldi. Quinoa, trail mix. I really, really miss this. They have not had this at Aldi's in a while, so I got my favorite dark chocolate, sea salt. I wanted to get some vegetables for different meals, so I got zucchini, brussels sprouts, broccoli we'll use with like a cashew chicken meal. And then these bell peppers we will use in a meal with ground beef and tater tots. Some fresh fruit for us, strawberries and blueberries. Mushrooms, I might put those in an egg casserole. Spinach for a recipe. And then also just to have on hand. Cilantro. Yes, Vera. Hey. Italian sausage that I plan to incorporate into the egg casserole I was talking about. Some fresh bananas. Our supply in the freezer is all used up, so I bought one extra bunch so that way we can restock the freezer supply. We will make a marinated pork chops. I bought two things of pork chops. We're having guests that night, so I thought I would buy two. Packages of chicken thighs because they were on sale. They need to be used or freeze by today. So I would plan to put them in the freezer. We bought some turkey sausage. And this we plan to use in a meal with the potatoes and zucchini. It's probably one of our favorite meals. It's the Hungarian potato sausage meal. All right, I bought this, the organic grass-fed ground beef at Aldi's. I might have been dreaming in the meat aisle. But this per pound was cheaper than the regular meat. I believe this was $4.70 per pound. And the other ones were $4.90. I truly must have, might have been dreaming. But we'll see. And then I got two things of frozen corn, two things of green beans. 
our favorite hash browns, and then two bags of potato puffs. Two things of whole milk for the baby and one thing of organic almond milk, and that's for us. Total at all these was $152.76 for two weeks worth of groceries. Hopefully we don't have to go back for eggs and fruit halfway through that time. I hope you enjoyed this Aldi grocery haul. I am going to show you now a few of the meals that we made with these groceries. So come along for a few of our meals. Hello, Ubuntu fam. I am going to show you today what's cooking in our house. It is a Wednesday. I went grocery shopping today. And now I am making two meals so that way hopefully I don't have to cook again until Saturday. So I already made one meal that I'll show you real quick. Meal, which is half big harvest, 20 minute garlic butter cashew chicken. And I will link that recipe below. Pretty straightforward. You ground up some chicken, add it to the skillet, cook it with some sesame oil. Then once that's cooked, I added in some butter garlic, ginger, cashews, and then I added in a sauce that I made which had soy sauce, poison sauce, some maple syrup, and a few other things that I'm not remembering off the top of my head. But I will link that below, that's again half a harvest. Right now I'm prepping um, the Hungarian potatoes and sausage meal. And so what I'm doing is I chop some turkey calabasa. I always forget how to say that word. I think I'm saying it right. Just into some rounds. And what I will do is add this to a skillet that has some oil in it so that way they can brown. They're fully cooked. Olive oil, because that's what's easy and most convenient for right now. I have a whole I think a three pound bag of red potatoes that I peeled, they're just soaking in water so they don't go bad. And so what we'll do is we will get these browned up and then once they're brown, I'm gonna take them out and then I'm gonna caramelize some onions and then add the potatoes and the recipe will go on from there. Sausages finished cooking. I browned them up, just dropped a piece. Have to wash that off. And we cut up the Potatoes. Around meat, I have the sliced up onions, and that I am going to add to this pan with the butter, and I'm going to caramelize those. Vegetable broth that I made earlier in the day by boiling old vegetable ends, so like the peels of potatoes and the ends of onions, pieces of usually green beans, carrots. What I do is I collect it in a freezer bag over the course of like a month and then when I need stock I'll boil it in water for over an hour and then it turns into vegetable stock. Alright, the potatoes are fork tender. I added in some spinach and arugula that we had that I wanted to use up and then some zucchini that was sliced that was in the freezer. This product it's still steaming off a little bit but that is the finished product. All right my mother-in-law made yam fufu and okra agusi and some green leaves. Okra agusi and green leaves. And turkey, right? Oh, turkey. That's yes. Turkey meat. Yeah, you made a lot of it. Yes. So it lasts a long time. Yes. Yeah. We can eat it with a variety of things. We can eat it with fufu corn. We can eat it with curry. Okay. We can eat it with... Uh, Potato? Uh, yes. Okay. We can eat with everything like yeah. that. Yeah. I tried it. It's pretty good. Vera Girl had that for dinner. The yam fufu and the goosey stew. And she loved it. She's on her second serving. Here I am boiling some sweet potatoes to make the mashed sweet potato topping for the chorizo shepherd's pie. 
Hello Ubuntu fam. Today I am going to show you one of the meals that I am making with the items I bought in the grocery haul. I am making a sweet potato chorizo shepherd's pie. I've made this before. It's a half-picked harvest recipe and it was delicious. I'm making it again. I'll be honest, I'm very, very tired. We had friends over last night. They spent the night uh, in our home and I got a little sleep. And then the power was out in the early in the morning. So I do have a little iced coffee with me that I made. I don't, I really don't drink caffeine in the normal. So I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. I am going to saute up a red pepper, an orange pepper, some onion and jalapeno into the skillet. And I am doing things as easy as possible today. So I use my food processor to chop it all up, which I like to do from time to time. I'm going to saute that up in my cast iron skillet, and then I will add in some chorizo, black beans, spinach, and then put it into a, words are not my friend right now, a baking dish, and then top it with the sweet potatoes and bake it for a little bit. The final meal I am making is a summer version on a peanut curry noodle. Here I am just chopping up some vegetables. I did zucchini, onion, corn, and mushroom. And I will add this to a skillet after I saute my chicken. I followed a recipe for a peanut sauce that was coconut milk, tomato paste, peanut butter, some sugar, apple cider vinegar, and salt. I've made this recipe a few times before, I'll link it below. Once the vegetables and chicken were done cooking, I added it to the sauce, and then finally I added rice noodles that I had boiled in water. And voila, the meal is done!